location, the dorm rooms of the USNG Institute of the Gift. Opal is sitting at a workbench in his quarters. The room is obsessively organized and tidy, the exception being a number of scattered pieces of technical gear, each in mid-repair. He is using his enchanted signals to repair a handheld motion tracker. The small metal pieces react and move along with each electric current, aligning into place on the tracker while wires are directed into their proper connections. Opal! Open the goddamn door, you backstabbing fuck! Opal rolls his eyes, choosing to ignore him. You gotta tell me why, Opal. I gotta know why you decided to fuck up my plan, Opal. Is it to get back at me for calling you a lazy accountant in front of baby? Don't be a petty bitch, Opal! Opal continues his work in a very practiced method of acting as though Celtic weren't there. Listen, bud, I just want to talk. Get your side of the story, you know? Uh, I'm sure your big, smart, creepy brain has a super good reason for ruining our graduation. You know, bud? I could easily break down this fucking door. In fact, I'm increasing my density right now. Getting real dense, Opal. Real dense. And you wouldn't want another repair on your hands, would you? It's not like we can fucking afford it, Opal! <sighs> Opal hits a button on his holophone, opening the door. Okay, Celtic. Now it's- ah! Celtic promptly throws a table from the mess hall at Opal. The table crashes into the desk, breaking one of its legs and spilling its contents onto the floor. Prime Zoll, Celtic! What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry, Opal. Did I wreck something you worked really hard on? Feels pretty shitty, don't it, Opal? At least what I did is gonna cost us our graduation, Opal. Celtic, you don't understand. I, I, d wait, wait, dude, even so, don't act like I crushed your hopes and dreams or anything. You never gave a shit about doing well at this school. Well, your comment about going back home really reminded me, Opal. I've got a pretty great reputation back home on Terrestria. If I don't graduate, I'd be letting a lot of people down that really look up to me. Right. Well, you won't have to worry about your reputation, Celtic. I got us the money. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck yeah, Opal. You finally came through for once. Who'd you scam it from? I didn't scam it from anyone, Celtic. I called your mother. Celtic freezes as the blood rushes from his face. Opal? What the fuck? What? Dude, don't let your pride keep you from asking her for help. I'm sure this is neither the first nor the last time she's bailed you out. I don't give a shit about your pride here, Opal. Do you have any idea of what you've fucking done? I saved our asses. Again, neither first nor last. Hey, can you guys shut up? You're disturbing Maybelline's sleep schedule. Baby enters the doorway, cradling their pet Ferrisum, a small weasel-like creature with five eyes, native to Baby's home planet in the Umfaria sector. Baby, I'm not in the mood to pretend to care about your fucking fuzz noodle thing. <gasps> Maybelline gives Celtic a... Well, I don't feel like I need to, but I am going to give you a chance to explain why you just insulted such a precious innocent animal. He's pissy because I had his mom cover our budget issue. You made Celtic's poor ma pay that much money? Baby, go get your rifle. Opal, his name is- His name is Jacob, I know, I know. Sorry, baby. Go get Jacob, please. Well, no problem. Baby skips away into their quarters. Fuck, I can't wait to get out of here and get on a real squad. I'll finally be with people who respect me. Well, I doubt your conclusion. I do share your sentiment. Once I'm rid of you, I'll finally be with people who won't stand in my way. Ah, Jacob. Baby trots back into the room, holding Jacob their large, bolt-action sniper rifle, measuring almost as long as Baby's height. Here he is! Thanks, Baby. Could you look under the bolt and read the name on him for me? Oh, yeah. It says Celtic. That's because Jacob was brought to you by the Celtic family. In fact, specifically his mom. Oh! I always thought Celtic just carved his name on Jacob to be a dick to me. Wow! I didn't know your mom on Jacob before me. N n no, Baby. Celtic's mom's company produced that gun. They produce most of our guns. They're the largest weapons manufacturer in the Empire. Our budget was pocket changed to her. <gasps> Celtic, you bastard! You, you've been rich this whole time, and you've never gotten me or Maybelline anything for our birthdays. I wouldn't care if you ripped that bitch off for a fortune, Opal. You don't understand her. Well, I understand you owe her a lot of thanks for this. And probably an apology for having to raise you. 
You'll get an opportunity at graduation. She said she's coming. Prime Zoll, graduation! I gotta start planning my presentation! Baby storms off back into the room. D don't worry, baby. It's gonna be great. Okay, Celtic, really. Opal watches Celtic quietly walk to his room, his head hung, staring at the floor. <sighs> Freak. Location. Rebel Moon Base Storage Block. Still in shock, Mesa's eyes follow the blood rolling down his visor to the floor, where McGraw lay dead at Angus's feet. C -c commander Angus lines a shotgun up to Mesa's chest. Sorry, kid. We're only doing business. Angus? W w why <laughs> Prince steps from behind a crate. Commander! What's going on? He stops at the vicious scene. Just before Angus points his gun at him, Prince falls back into a portal. <laughs> Old predictable Prince. Angus spins around to fire his gun at Prince. Just as he exits the portal, he formed behind Angus. Uh! Angus, in firing so quickly, only hits Prince in the abdomen with half his shot's pellets. Prince falls to his knees. And as Angus pumps his weapon for the fatal blow, Prince leans into another portal, just in time for the pellets to rip the empty air and strike the metal deck. Angus looks behind him again, then around his corners. Going for the old escape, huh, Prince? Well, I can't say it's every part of me that's rooting against you. Angus pulls the detonator from McGraw's corpse. Not that there's gonna be much of a chance. Vic steps next to Chase, who's kneeling over Storm. You cost the Gaznians a lot over the years. They took their best, you hard bastard. McGraw, Storm is down. Prince falls out of a portal behind them, jumping Vic and Chase to attention. Prince? Prince! You're hit! What the hell happened? Angus killed McGraw and, and, and the rookie. Angus betrayed us, Vic. Prince, you're delusional from the blood loss. That's not possible. I buy it, Vic. Chase helps Prince to a knee. Does this look like a Gosnian laser wound? Oh, shit. The tissue patch is only going to do so much here. His insides are fucked. McGraw, come in. Commander! Vic, come on, man. It makes sense. He's after the power cells. The piece of shit's probably defected back to Dragma. Oh, shit. I've got to stop him. Chase, you stay with Prince. Got it. What the? Hey, Vic. Did a tyrant just pop on your hood, too? Uh oh, shit, dude. Why the fuck would he start the detonator on us? We know him better than anyone else in the galaxy. We'd always be his biggest threat. Prince, can you open the portal to the airlock? Of course. Vic, wait. We only got five minutes to this place blows. Our map showed that there's a hangar not far from here. If we go now, we can make it. Our mission is those cells. You take Prince down to the hangar. I'll catch up. Shit. Okay. Chase pulls Prince to his feet, supporting his weight. As Chase takes a step, he feels a stabbing pain in his ribs. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't think that Berserker got me so good. Vic, I need your help carrying Prince. The USNG is counting on us, brothers. We knew the risk we signed up for. Fuck the USNG. We're your squad mates, Vic. Get as far as you can. I'll catch up in time to help you. Prince, do it. <coughs> Vic steps through the portal. God damn it, Vic. At the airlock's entrance, Vic sprints out of his portal and through the airlock to the closed doors of their ship, driving a punch into it, denting the metal. This leaves a space for him to fit his hands and pry the door open before running inside. He passes through the squad's small dining room and kitchen, once their shared common areas, before reaching the bridge door. He punches it too, but it's shot back. There's an electrical field that Angus must be placing on it. The engines awaken, making Vic pause, before making his way to a ladder and dropping down into the cargo hold where the crates of power cells had been placed by the base's loading mechanism. He finds a control panel and releases the cells from their restraint before opening the cargo doors to see that the ship is disengaged from the base, opening the cargo hold to the vacuum of space. Vic runs and leaps from the ship. His momentum carries him toward the base, 
and into the loading room. He looks back to watch his ship flying away. The power cells drift out of the cargo hold just before it jumps to hyperspace. Vic gets back to his feet and makes his way into the base as the loading door closes, sealing him back inside. Chase, holding up Prince, is slowly making his way down a hallway, wincing with every step. Chase, just throw, just throw at me. Go! No way, man. No way in hell. You're gonna be fine. Don't sweat nothing. Brothers, the cells are safe. Oh, thank Prime's out. The cells are safe. Can you fucking take Prince now? Vic effortlessly puts Prince over his shoulder as the remaining members of Omega Squad make their way through the hall and into the fighter hangar. I'll get Prince settled in one of the fighters. Get the hangar door open, Chase. Got it. Vic opens one of the two seated fighters and gently places Prince into the back seat. Watch the armor, Vic. It, it, it's already going to be expensive to fix. Of course. Sorry, old friend. I'll chip in on the paint job, okay? Brothers, Prince is riding with me. You grab another. Vic, I need an access card to open the hangar. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sure one of the guards back in the storage block has one. I'll go back and- A distant explosion rocks the hangar. Get in the ships. I'll get us out of here. Prince, you can't- Do it, brothers! Chase shakes his head before running and jumping into a cockpit. Vic jumps into his with Prince. The fighters come to life as they disengage from their supports. Prince, are you sure? Oh, shut up! And be ready to punch it. It won't be open long. Prime Zol will give me. Prince opens a large portal to just outside the base. Gun it, brothers! The fighters race toward the portal as the explosions reach the hangar, flooding it with fire that claws to within an inch of Vic's tail wing, just as the squad mates pass into space. As the base is ripped apart in one last detonation, shrapnel and debris rocket past them. Vic cools the fighter's oh. engines. Okay. Brothers, you there? <laughs> Brother. Brothers, come in. Brothers, did you make it out? Chase! Vic looks around the controls. Prince, I can't reach Brothers. See if you can find a radar system on this thing. Maybe he just... He looks back at Prince, to see him still <laughs> pale and lifeless. Vic looks through his windows to search for Chase's fighter, but finds only empty space.